life's dream. My dream. My life's dream. Fall was about 10 times bolder. Join us as we hike 10,000 miles and collect 10,000 dreams, hiking and biking through America. We love Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Unfortunately, we only got a small taste of those states due to my previous injuries in my tendons and we were starting to hike really late into the season. We had to choose which part of those areas we were gonna hike. We decided to hike half of Vermont, a third in New Hampshire, and then our final destination, Mount Katahdin in Maine. Mountains in this northern section of the AT are intense. This intensity is found in the weather, rugged glaciated terrain, and steep trails. We decided to trail from Georgia to Vermont as a preparation for what a hiker encounters up north. The beauty experienced here can be described as breathtaking and grand alongside the subtle and delicate. The Long Trail and the AT share the same route through the southern half of Vermont. This region is home to one of our favorite hostels. Sugar maple trees are tapped and tubes and gravity supply sap to sugar houses in the valleys. The quickly approaching autumn brings a bittersweet realization that this season's journey as long distance hikers is coming to an end. Thich Nhat Hanh wrote, walk as if you are kissing the earth with your feet. Walking for months along this trail has connected us with the spirit of the land and the cadences of the seasons. After leaving Hanover, New Hampshire, we headed towards Mount Musilak. It's the first mountain on the AT that you actually summit above tree line. The ridge line was beautiful. We had a perfect blue sky, clear, long range view. The mountain was magnificent. The next day, rain was kind of looming, and we headed down Musilak on the, on the north end, which is a tougher mountain, and it took a toll on my Achilles tendons. The tendon had been really tender for a while, and I've been kind of hiking on borrowed time, and hiking down that long ridge really did take a toll. So we then took a few days off in Lincoln, New Hampshire, and started to get ready for the presidential range in New Hampshire in the White Mountains. We left Lincoln, New Hampshire with hopes of hiking the entire White Mountains. With hopes. We headed up to Franconia Ridge. You just have to read what it says to you in the book, in quotes. It says, in any kind of weather, this ridge walk will leave you awestruck. For us, we were in awe. We were in awe that we actually survived. We hiked up into a hurricane. 85 mile winds, about four times it took us to our butt. We had to hold on to each other and rescue ourselves off the top of the ridge, down to Greenleaf Hut and we stayed there for about two days until the hurricane passed. It was an experience I never want to have again, and basically I'm really happy that I'm sitting here today talking about what happened a few days ago, because, well, you watch the video and you, <laughs> you can see how difficult it was.
saved ourselves off of Franconia Ridge, we decided to head down the mountain and head towards Maine. My tendons really were giving me a hard time and I thought I only had about one more hike in me. So we started off to Baxter State Park, Mount Katahdin, our final destination. We also heard that we were going to have some really good weather, so we took that opportunity and ran there because we didn't want to experience what we experienced on Franconia Ridge. We're heading up Katahdin for the final leg of our journey. It's, it's great. We're excited. Somewhere along the line, Ron and I have totally forgotten about the, that mountain. And there's two and a half miles within a five mile hike up to the top of just bouldering. Holding on to rebar that's been drilled into the rock and endless climbing. We forgot about it. And it took us forever to get up to that final sign, but we did. And it was breathtaking. Ron and I both accomplished a through hike in our past. Ron hiked in 1987, and I through hiked in 1997. This year, when we set out, we, we set out to accomplish a full through hike. And with all the obstacles that came up, we struggled with the fact that we weren't going to be able to do that. We managed to accomplish a thousand miles on the AT. It's not what we originally wanted, but we were so excited and thrilled to have finally gotten there. In the end, for us, it was the best of both worlds. We got to pick and choose the best of the best in, on the AT. We also became stronger as a couple and learned to really persevere through anything, to go with the flow and to just really appreciate the journey and not worry about the final destination. Our most important goal for this journey was that Ron and I both accomplish our dreams individually and together as a couple. Individually, it was for me to hike, to get back in shape so I'd be ready for the bike trip. Ron, it was to collect as many images as possible. And together, for our journey, was to meet as many people as we can and collect their dreams, in hopes of inspiring people to live their dream. Hi, my name is Matt Smith. I'm from Madison, Alabama. And my life's dream is to lead a productive and creative lifestyle in the service of others. It was a life-changing experience that really has enhanced both of our lives. And we are really fortunate that you shared it with us. Now we're headed home to get ready for the next part of the journey. We have 9,000 more miles and over 9,000 more names and dreams to collect. We plan to leave this spring and in a few days, we'll be driving back to North Carolina to talk to sponsors and to get us ready and our bikes ready so that we can start biking in the spring. What is your life's dream? And what would you do if you were 10 times bolder to make a positive difference in the world? <laughs>